Hey everyone, welcome to another Fog of Gore painting recipe. In this tutorial I'll show you how to paint a Grimdark Ravenwing Outrider. And I'm going to show you how to paint black without using black and how to paint white without using white. Yeah. So here's the Outrider in all its glory. As you can see, it's all black with some white and red details. This is why I picked a bright red color for the base so that the model isn't just a dark blob once it's on the gaming table. The red Martian soil also gives the opportunity for adding some dust to the model and really make the Mini connect to the base. Like with almost all my models, I start with a Xenathal highlight with my primers. Just spray the model black and then spray with a white primer from the top to simulate light falling on him. Then I dry brush the whole model with ashen grey. This is a dark grey colour and that's a good base to start with when you're painting black. If you start with a bad and black, you can't apply any more shadows and shade on the model, because everything is already at the darkest black. Now I'm dry brushing lead belcher on all the metallic parts. So that's the exhausts and parts of the guns on the front. Then it's time for the first wash. For this I'm using Drakenhof Nightshade. This is a dark blue wash that is perfect for when you want your models to look black but still have some shading in them. The model will look pretty blue for now but we will darken it down a bit more later on. This will give the lead belcher parts of the model a very cold blue steel look as well. Then I apply a bad and black to the tires. I'm using black for this because they will get a strong highlight later on with the dust from the base. So it's okay to use black here, because that's what the recesses will be. It's also a good way to make it clear that the tires are made of a different material than the armor of the bike and the space marine. So now it's time to block in some of the details on the model. I take out a fine detail brush and I start with corn red on the chainsword and the guns on the bike. And I also do the purity seal with this. Then I use gray sear for the Aquila the icon on the left hand and the guard of the sword. As you can see, I'm not using white for these details, even though the Ravenwing is supposed to be black and white. This is because you rarely see anything that's truly perfectly white. And with the contrast with the black, it will still look white, but it also gives that little bit of a grim dark feel. So now I'm painting the leather belt and the pouches with Rhinox hide. This is a very dark and reddish brown. It's perfect for all your grim dark leather needs. Then I paint the parchment of the purity seal with rock art flesh. So then it's time to shade all these new details that I painted. So this all gets a shade of non-oil to darken them down and get the shadow in the recesses. Only do this for the little details that I just painted. And then it's time to start working on the bike again. And I start with dry brushing on Stormfang. This is a desaturated and a light blue color and it works really well with the underlying dark blue of what we currently have. And it will give less of a stark contrast than if you would use white or gray as a highlight right away. And it's just fun to use Space Wolf's color on a Dark Angel model. And then I dry brush all over the model with gray sear. This makes the highlights pop a little bit more. Layering two highlights over each other is a great way to get some more color on your model and to get some more depth as well. Here I forget to do the tires, but I'll get back to them later. So if you're following along, you can just do them with grace here now. So then it's time for the battle damage. I dry brush on lead belcher and I do this in the places where the model would most likely get damaged the most. So it's primarily on the bottom of the bike, the foot plates and the boots of the marine, and then around the corners and edges of the armor of the bike and the marine. With all that done, it's time to highlight some of the bright details, such as the red. I'm just dry brushing on a little bit of Evil Sun Scarlet here on the chainsword, and I'll do a little bit on the guns on the front as well. Like I said, I forgot to highlight the tires when I had the grays here out for the armor, so I'm quickly doing this now. This is to simulate getting dust on the tires and wear and tear of the rubber. With all the scratches on the bike, it's clear that he has already seen some use. 
And this needs to be reflected in the exhaust as well. So I'm going to build up some slight corrosion, but I don't want these to look completely rusted through. It's just heat damage from extensive use on a part of the bike that doesn't get replaced unless it's about to fall off. So I start with some spots of typhus corrosion along the pipes and at the end of the pipe, but I leave the heat shield untouched. Then I dab on some ashen gray with my dry brush and again leave the heat shields as they are. I then add some Rhinox hide to add a second dark brown color next to the typhus corrosion, just to give it all a bit more depth. And then I go back with typhus corrosion again, because I feel like I painted over a bit too much. I just dab on small bits and you get this real nice mottled look on these pipes. Then to finish it off, I'm dry brushing on some abandoned black on the end of the exhaust pipes to simulate the suit that will build up there. It's quite heavy because I don't expect these bikes to run very clean. And I also lightly dry brush on some of this black on the other vents and exhausts on the model, such as the vent on his backpack and some of the grills at the front of the bike. Now for the final wash to darken all of this down and make this guy a real part of the Ravenwing. If you like the blue hue, then you could instead go for another wash of Drakenhof Nightshade, but that would give a very different effect to what I'm going for. I want to paint the Ravenwing model, so the whole model gets washed in non-oil. I just really drown the model in the non-oil and I don't worry about it pooling or anything like that. Just get the wash all over it, including all the details and the tires, but not on the exhausts. Leave those bright and shiny and let the rust effect there untouched. And then it's time to base this mini and I'm using some ready basing material from Geek Gaming Scenics. I really like this stuff for how easy it is to use. And all you have to do is apply some PVA glue to the base, pick some rocks to place on the spots where you want them, and then just pour the sand all over the glue. Leave that to dry, tap off the excess sand, and your model has a great base done and ready. The only thing I would recommend here is to paint your base black before you do this. I forgot it with this model, and yeah, it's just better to do it. I always try to blend my model a bit with the base that it's placed on. So if you don't do that, I feel that they just look so detached. If you're a space marine and you've been walking or driving across some dusty planet, then you're probably covered in that dust, or at least the lower parts of your boots and the vehicles will be. So I start with dry brushing some corn red on the tires and the bottom of the bike. You need to do this very, very lightly because it's a much darker red than the base material. I then switch to Jokero Orange and again you have to be subtle with this. You want the impression of a light layer of dust on the armor and quite a bit on the tires. If you slowly build this up with a dry brush you'll get a nice dusty layer. So I'm going over with this over the tires, the armor of the bike and also on the back of the marine. If you ride a bike like this without any mudguard on the back you're going to kick up a lot of dust. And then finally, the eyes. I just apply a little bit of Evil Sun's Scarlet. It's a bright red color and it's great for these marines. I use my smallest detail brush for this and I work patiently trying to get to the eyes from the side of the model, not from the front. And just keep going until the eyes are completely covered. And that's the Ravenwing Outrider done. This is a fast way of painting and especially if you get a good at dry brushing, you can easily paint a unit of these in an hour or two. It's perfect for an evening of painting. And like I said, I painted this guy in black and white without using black or white. It might be appealing to just spray the model black and then start with the highlights from there, but you won't get the amount of shading that you would get if you start with the grey and then apply both highlights and shades. This way, your model gets more depth. So thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the links in the description below for my website fogofgore.com. You'll find many, many more paint recipes over there. If you want to support me, you can do so through Patreon. I'll put a link down below. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.